Welcome back. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back with you today. Scranton Bears. That's right. We pulled our bears near and dear. And what we have for you today is Maxi Can from Mass Produced Lager. Yes. It's uh, from Wormtown Brewery. Wormtown. Spencer, Massachusetts. Maxi Can. Four and a half percent. Lager. Yeah, we're looking forward to these lagers, man. And a lot of times, these Massachusetts lagers really come out. Um, Wormtown Brewery never tried them, so we're gonna look at it, look at it, and see how it is. Four and a half percent. Not too bad. Below average could be a light beer. Oh, you know, it has a really pleasing color. It looks like a, a light beer. It's very light. Very um, light. It seems crisp. You know, a small header on there. Um, very. Can't complain. Oh, it looks good. Golden. Very bright golden. Wormtown Brewery. Wormtown. Produced by the Maxi Can. Not a Maxi Can. Right. Not a Maxi Can, but a Maxi Can. Arriba! Yeah, under the yes. let's, let's Let's give the. Um, Arriba! Uh, wow. Wow. It's kind of interesting. It smells, it smells like a fiesta. <laughs> Extra salsa, salsa, queso. Interesting. It smells really good. For again, yeah, yeah. You want to just go into it, man? Yeah. Let's do this. On delay. It's light for a lager, but it goes down good. It's, it's pretty rich. And, and yeah, and it's rich. It should be a little lighter on the flavor. Yeah, actually, the the flavor the flavor is rich. It's not your usual light beer. This is part. It's a really good light beer. Um, if you want something, if you buy the pool at the beach, yeah, it's a good summer beer. So. Mexican. Yes. Mexican style lagers started to come into their own in the 19th century. It's a German Pilsner malt is combined with Massachusetts specially malted barley and corn. These create a bready light amber colored base for mass and European grown hops. Upfront malt balanced by hop bitterness creates a balanced aftertaste. American dry hops add a touch of herbal citrus. No, and you taste it. Um, you really taste the citrus. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very pleasing beer. Very pleasant. Yeah. Uh, would you grab this again? I would. Yeah. It's perfect for like barbecue, summer barbecue. Like, yeah. Perfect for summer barbecue. For for your, your, you know, the average beer drinkers. The like, beer, I think they yeah. Are the yeah, even, you know, the novice beer drinkers. You know, just like you said. Into, if, they're, if they like their Bud Lights or whatever. Maxi can. Yeah. Give them some of this, it will change their whole outlook on beer, on culture, and life. But, um, you know, I'm getting a little too far back. Did you, uh, uh, buy this beer again? Did you it Absolutely. I would, I would definitely drink this at the beach, at a party, summertime. Things are cool. Give me a maxi can, a maxi can. This will get it gum. <laughs> This would, you know, it, it, even if you're with a lady, you know, she'll probably like this beer because it's lighter on the palate, yeah. you know? This is it's a light stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. I know. Spencer, Massachusetts lives up to the Mexican style lager, you know? New England does so many different types of beers and different styles from multicultural, even though it's a New England beer. You know, multicultural flavor. Yes. And, and we'll be happy to try more from Mass Produced Lager and Italy. Beer coming from the Wormtown Brewery. And if you guys know any other beers that you think we should try, please leave your your comments in the subscription. Yes. I mean, in the comment thing down there. Let us know which beers you guys And we will definitely try it out. We only have a couple of things. Yeah, let right us know if, if you've tried this beer or. If you would try, you know, yeah, you know, we'll keep coming more with more random bears here at Dos Cervezas Romandos. Dos Cervezas Romandos. Cheers.
We're back. We're here. Two random beers. Two random beers. What we got for you today? Let them know. The Old Brown Dog. Old Brown Dog. Smutty Nose Brewing Company. Make mine a smutty. Wolf. Where are they from? They're from what? New Hampshire? Another New England beer. New England beer is holding it down for two random beers, and I can't wait to get into this. Crafting fine beers in New Hampshire since 1994. 94, man. They're 90s, baby. They've been holding it down, so, um, I hear good things about this. Let's try it. Uh, let you know how it looks. It's pouring it. It's a really smooth, dark, golden, deep brown. Golden, deep brown. Let's check this out. Doesn't that look amazing? That's a uh, nail, I believe this is. No, smutty. It's by smutty, the old brown an, no. an American brown ale. It really doesn't get any more. Bear or American in there. Oh, beer or American in there. Oh, um, aroma? There's a slight aroma. It's, it's, you know, it smells, um, smoke barrel. I smell wood. I smell, I smell like beer. This is what, like, like the barrel of the beer. Deep. Uh, Very deep. I'm looking forward to jumping into this. Yeah, Walking well, this dog, so. Yeah, sounds good. Let's, Wolf. Wow, that's superb. One of the smoothest, probably the smoothest ale I have tried in such a long time, or if not ever. Yeah, this is top notch. This is a five star beer to me. Amazing American Brown Ale. This is the American Brown Ale. It's refreshing, smooth. It has very slight bitterness, but not much. The perfect amount. Yeah, perfect amount. Enough to, to quench the thirst. Mm -hmm. and make you want so to sharp, more. like like feels like a little more. You know, you wouldn't want to jump right back into that next sip. No, it makes you want to jump back into that. Next sip. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't leave like that. Sh that bitterness. Not, no. I like bitterness, yeah. but I like bitterness, but it doesn't leave you with that aftertaste. It makes you want to go in and like drink more. Yeah, it has a very uh, like a, a cold air a cold air aftertaste. You know, what's the really craziest thing that, you know, we can actually go over there and visit their brewery um, in the Hayseed Restaurant. Out there in Hampton, uh, uh, two hours away from where we are. Um, We're so in New Bay. Yeah, this is so good. Anybody go to um, smuttynose.com and check these guys out because uh, when it comes to beer, the old brown dog with the dark ale is probably the best brown ale I have ever tasted. When it comes to brown ales, make mine a smutty. This is a five star beer. Five star. Purchase this beer. You get it again? Go for sure. Sure. I think we have ready. That's what I'm talking about. Two random beers. Sometimes two random beers. Sometimes not so random, but yes. we're doing it. And we're doing it well with for you. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be back with more beers. Stay tuned and have some fun.